Hey, I'm Jeremy, and on this tutorial for Adobe Photoshop, we're going to look at creating this uh, more advanced shadow. So I have uh, already extracted a uh, wolf character, so I'm just going to delete this layer. And uh, my wolf character is already extracted, and well, not well extracted, but uh, if you need some uh, help on how to extract stuff, you can check out my extracting uh, tutorial to extract elements of a picture. And then you can, you're good to go. Or if you already know how to do it, good. And just follow the tutorial, and you'll be able to uh, create a nice uh, perspective shadow. So take your um, your character. So here my wolf, and I'm just gonna duplicate it. So click and drag it to this new layer icon right here, and create a uh, duplicate. Duplicate the layer, and I'm just gonna rename it shadow. Here we go. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, transform this, actually distort it, so it looks like a shadow. So press Control T to uh, have the free transform. And now you might be used to uh, just resizing or rotating stuff. I'm not gonna do that right now. Yeah. What we're gonna do is basically just move each angle. Uh, independently, so hold control, hold control key, and then just maintain it. Hold and just click and drag it, drag the handle, and try to make it look like a shadow. Don't destroy it too much. So here I have a uh, shadow. And it's important to uh, look at some perspective. So the side needs to be maybe bigger than this side here, this line, to have more perspective uh, look. And try to match the feet. There's the more small part, like the source of it. Try to match them. And if when it looks good, just press enter to confirm. And take your wolf layer and move it on top of the shadow layer. So it's now on top. And we can make some uh, more adjustments now to the source. So control, key, maintain it. And uh, try to make some adjustments to the shadow layer. Press enter to confirm. Now with shadow layer selected, go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation and select the lightness and move it down to uh, the black like to negative 100 and now that your uh, shell layer is completely black just go into the opacity and bump it down to 55% and now go and uh, to filter blur Gaussian blur to blur the shadow out and I set it to 15 pixels and it looks good don't put it uh, like uh, it, it doesn't look so good when it's sharp so 15 pixels looks good and that's about it we have our nice uh, perspective shadow on my uh, wolf character and I did a background to it so it looks good the background is completely independent and on, off, off, on anyways um, that's about the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time on some uh, more Adobe uh, products tutorial like um, Photoshop, After Effects, Flash, Dreamweaver, all the things like this. And um, well, I'll see you next time. See ya.